<laughs> okay, predetermination, karma, and Mother Teresa. Okay, um, <clears throat> and my views on Mother Teresa. I mean, Mother Teresa, you know, is like a Christian mis uh, missionary, and that's the background of a Christian missionary being of service. And yeah. also, you know, the spiritual pathway that one evolves at when one's doing spiritual work will have a a tendency and the expression of that of that uh, of that spiritual teacher, shall we say? So, someone doing that. Now, I remember. Hawkins, you know, Hawkins had correspondence with Mother Teresa and uh, Mother Teresa gave Hawkins a testimonial for Power versus Force and he talks a lot about Mother Teresa and after, and talks about her death and the release of her letters as well uh, by the Catholic Church um, and uh, he said that the thing, you know, with Mother Teresa where she um, sort of bemoaned in her letters sometimes the loss of the presence of God mm -hmm. um, and, and he actually said that you know I mean 700, 700 is not a thousand mm -hmm. so you still need a more advanced teacher to tell you what you need to do to let go or to recontextualize certain things that are happening so you know with, with Sometimes when you haven't got muscle testing or an understanding of karma, you know, even, you know the saints can have, you know, uh, can, can sort of not understand why they get the loss of the presence of God, you know, and, and, and then they can, they, can, <coughs> they can feel like God has abandoned them. Um, so, again, I would say, I mean, he said it, and I would just say I probably agree with him for what it's worth, is that you always need, wherever you get to 700, um, you, you need someone more advanced to guide you, to mm -hmm. sort of to tell you what you need to do to go to the next level. And if you don't, like, and I, I would, just, I'm not saying with Mother Teresa, but like, let's say you're following a thing of selfless service as, as a missionary um, and to see Christ in everyone you see, you can get to very advanced levels, but still there can be others who, you know, there still can be things that you're not seeing which can take you to the next level. In terms of, you know, so I'd say uh, karmically you have to look at, you'd have to do past life research into the past lives. So maybe she might have been a Christian, um, you know, like in Christianity in past lifetimes. So there's a tendency to follow that pathway, you know, but then you don't have the karmic merit to have a more advanced teacher. Mm. you see in this lifetime. The thing, um, mm. I mean, Hawkins said that things aren't pre predetermined. They're, there's karmic likelihoods. Mm. Otherwise, you know, there'd be no point because everything would be... Um, but, you know, your karma means there's a strong tendency. It doesn't mean things are, are guaranteed. Um, so, it's likely if I've got... Um, I don't know, if I've got... Uh, so s certain things are likely, are almost like nearly guaranteed to happen, but it's not like it's, it's predetermined in the sense that everything has to happen and it's all already set. It's like there's probabilities. Uh, and there is still, um, uh, so it's more like likelihoods. There's like a strong tendencies and there can be karmic contracts and people you're meeting, but it's not like the whole, uh, the future is not set, but you know, can be karmic contracts and strong tendencies. So it's not like. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah, and that that's how I'd explain it. I don't know if that that makes sense, but that's how I sort of see it. And wherever high you go, sometimes you can still there can still be things you're missing to go to the next level, and there can be still things you don't understand. Uh, and uh, hence, uh, it's good to have someone above you or access to muscle testing.